surprise, we are back. Yeah, well, definitely I'm done. I'm tired. I wanted to get it out of the way, though. I may do. I'm Devin, Artistic Soul 247. Come back to you guys again. And this time we're doing... Rayblade. Rayblade. This is a collectible versus game. Did it come out about the time Horclix did, or what? That sounds about right. Yeah. 2006. So, you want to open that and I open? Yeah, that's okay. fine. I hadn't heard of it before, but, uh, just... I got, uh, the, I got one of the, uh, guy that looks like a chain golem, just because I thought he was really freaking cool. There's, uh, some kind of a... Oh, it's a checklist. Okay. Huh. Oh, checklist. Oh, this is... This okay. Is. Looks like they, there's four different kind of themes. Valor, fear, madness, and passion. That's the theme for each of them. Uh, there's 96 different ones. Mm -hmm. Got a little. Was the coast likes to give little cards for surveys to see? Uh, oh, these these guys look freaking amazing. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll, 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 we'll have no duplicates. If you want to grab yourself some scissors, maybe easier yeah. to open them. Yeah, hopefully we have no duplicates. The starter set uh, includes the maps and uh, instructions on how to play. Uh, oh. I'm folding the map here for you guys. I have an idea. Oh! Oh, very, very cool. So the, the color of the base determines which faction the character is in. Yeah. Anyway, this I'll have to read the instructions and see what how this map's actually supposed to go. <laughs> yeah, that is the same. <laughs> Yeah, um, I guess. Oh, I got. I have. Guy. That's kind of. He's either very short or squatting. I think he's very short. Uh, hey, no. Twilight Scout. Okay. I'll have to so read up. What faction is he? Blue? Uh, Valor. Okay. The cross swords is Valor, right? Yes. Okay. The Savage Ogre. I think the fire is... Fire is passion. passion. Okay, I'm trying to believe that Skull is fear and then the <laughs> Tentacle is madness. Madness. Go figure. Savage Ogre. Okay. See, it's got like a little, almost like a card on the bottom that gives you powers and stuff. It's very interesting. Great, great detail on these minis. I can start showing off some of yours. One of the ones in the booster pack that we got that I think is just awesome. I mean, they all look awesome, but one of the ones that I'm particularly liking is this uh, 
Knight of Autumn Gate, who is part of the Fear faction. Oh, he's like pumpkin head soldier dude with flame and sword. That's very nice. Huh. You got a flame harrower. But he looks like he is a some kind of armored warrior made entirely out of fire. Except his armor is wearing. I mean, his sword even is made of fire. Passion, of course, being his uh, house or what, what are we doing? Hi, potato. Dude! Trying to put the fact, keep the factions together, man. Oh, okay. I see what you're doing. Have a uh, Valor Stalwart. This says Ardent Zungar. This looks like an alien, kind of maybe troll. It's weird, scary, kind of odd. This is uh, Valor. This is a little house thingy, so that's cool. What's this? Then oh, another yeah. Valor, the Lunar Handmaiden. We think of a uh, D and D character, like the Harpers or uh, oh. a non-drow sisters of Alestri. Uh, that's a very interesting sculpt. Uh, you see, her hair is transparent as well as her scimitar, I guess. But they have got some kind of a opalescent sheen to it as well. So yeah, that, very that's, very nice. That sword is definitely two-handed. Well, she's holding it with two hands. Right, but I mean. <laughs> And I have one of the. You want to show them your uh, madness? Yes. This is an asylum escapee. Looks like some kind of a goblinoid head. But it's all like. Trust up with a straight jacket of some kind. Faceless stalker. Ew. Huh. That's mad, that's awesome. Very interesting how her hair and her dress are almost one. Again, they could have done a little bit better on that skin tone. <laughs> That's what I more so picture doppelgangers looking like. Yeah, I, I would. Yeah, if you're a doppelganger, you probably do have trouble with your skin tone. Well, right, but just the whole not having an actual face of their own. Instead of looking like okay. more humanoid grays. I have a fear. Has Jack of Blades. Yeah. Fear sex. He's very creepy looking. It's like a Reaper type except his fingers are blades. Have another madness. Dream stuff entity. It's very Cthulhu oid. Oh, it's got like a. Or Lovecraftian? 
Pleasant coating to it. It's like just mass of flesh with a face. Let's put this over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have another one from Fear. Who is this? This is. Hive Pincer. If, big scary insect dude. Then there's the misbegotten mutant. Okay, that's really weird. Uh, this is from Madness. Uh, mm -hmm. It looks like the sculpt was from, from Clear, but they painted some over it. And like the colors change. Like, you see this is uh, red, but it's, it's see-through and then like pinkish. It's so odd. And then it's got like an almost cartoon like hand holding a big freaking uh, wrench here. There's a pipe wrench. Uh, huh. Madness. Oh, I think this is the one you had. Mm hmm. There he is. It was also madness. Yes. This is Iron Thug. I didn't think yours had the base though. Yeah, it did. I don't remember having the base. He, he, well, I may have. But yeah, he is like pretty much made of chains. Yes. It's like a chain golem, is what Evan was calling him. Also madness. Zombie enforcer. This is a freaking Nazi zombie? Hold on. Dude looks like a freaking Nazi zombie. Or maybe like a zombie cop. But he really looks so very Nazi-esque. He's got an axe in his head. <laughs> And he's got a police baton and some kind of futuristic almost looking pistol in his hand. I want to show your uh, Windborne Blade Master. Yes. It's like a Japanese kite guy. It's pretty neat looking. It's very unique. Uh, which one is he going with? He is. Okay. All right. Well, during our brief pause, I just cut open the rest of mine. I'll just grab a random. Here's a Hell Shrieker. It looks like he is made up of uh, earthworms. That is crazy. He's from fear, not madness, though. <laughs> <laughs> Here is a rune tagged brawler. It looks like a, a naked man, but he has no penis. Um, and he's got little thingies etched into him all over the place, so maybe he's like a metal golem or something. I think I had one of those as well that I got to. Or no, I was going to get one of these guys because he looked kind of like a mix between an astral construct and a golem. Here we have a Neverett Scream Trooper of the Madness Faction. 
Reminds me a little bit of uh, Green Goblin, except he's got a head on a stick instead of a pumpkin. Hmm. <laughs> Here's an interesting one from a Valor Mirror Man. It's it's almost like it's a twin, I guess. We have a alluring succubus. She's got some transparent skin there and a wispy gown. Passion. She's from Passion. Also from Passion, a bone blade serpent. Very interesting garb this thing is wearing. This is uh, so weird. Oh, take a look at that one. The detail on that one is very trippy. And my favorite one that I've seen so far is the Steelborn Griffin. I like Griffins. I'm pretty sure I had one of her too. Very cool. And then we have, I don't think this is a figure. I think it's part of the starter set. Because, I mean, it doesn't look like any of the other figures. It's like this corner, and then you turn the corner, and there's this tentacled mass coming out of a cabinet almost. Um, and it doesn't have the the stat-like thingies on the edge like the others, but it does have stuff on the bottom, so. We'll see what all that means when we go try to play the game. But that's, uh, that's all I'll take. Oh, I'll show you one of the dice. It's got the little wispy tentacly thing, and then uh, one, two, and three, and then a hollow diamond and a full diamond, so. We'll see what all those mean. I think I have one regular six sider, and all the others are these same kind of dice. So, hmm. we'll see That's what it all means. means. Huh. I think, here, what is this? Okay. A circle is common, a diamond is uncommon, but a star is rare. Griffin is a rare one we got. So the Windborn Blade Master. Which your rares we got, actually. Oh well. I'd have thought that a Gateway to Psychosis would have been rare. Oh, is it actually on the list? Yeah. Oh. Details on the, the walls. This Gateway to Madness is madness. A very interesting game. I want to read up on the rules and uh, see about actually playing it some. I mean, I, I don't even know if I have enough to have a team or whatever. We'll see. Well, it looks like we almost do. He had more to buy there, so if we need to go buy more in order to play, we can. I mean, I figured the starter set itself would be enough to play, so... Like well, I said, we'll read the rules and figure it out. Yeah, starter set is 16, so yeah, I'd say that based off that, a uh, team's probably going to be 8, maybe 7, seeing as how that's what a booster pack is. I think somebody else wants us to go to bed, so we're going to call it a night. Yeah. And, uh, until next time, I'm Mandu. Devin, Artistic Soul Team or something. And we'll be back another time. Yes, we With will. more horror? Who knows? Maybe we'll more see. dreams. Dreams? I'm ready to dream. <sighs> Goodbye.